No children were harmed in this parachute call. Look at that stash. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Dave and Jackie. Get <laughs> 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 You're welcome. Again, it's my fault, all right? But first of all, I want to uh, let you know that tomorrow is a very important day. It is Becky's 30th anniversary. Oh. So that'll make it mine, too. So happy anniversary, dear. And before I talk here, we're going to have a few people come up and give very short comments. So if somebody wants to hit the top, hit number one. Um, in no particular order, uh, since let's have the, the most photographed individual of G.I. Joe Con that's ever been, Mr. Ace Allgood, would you like to come up? The only reason why I had so many photos in is because I took so many and kept sending them in. <laughs> um, it's very self-serving. It is, Dollar Sure. The only thing I want to say, I want to be very brief. I've had, out of the 25 years, I've made all but two. But I've, and I've had a great time in each and every one. But what makes each and every convention unique and special is the time that we get in FaceTime together. This is not the internet. This is not eBay. This is where we can all talk and make friends. And I want to say every to each and every one of you three and three quarter ones, for our guys, thanks for keeping us 12 inch guys around. <laughs> and we are all in this together. Yeah. Now the other thing I want to say briefly is there are this is not the end of the world. This is the beginning of the next chapter in our lives. That's, That's it, right. There are other conventions, there are other shows. 
there's always that evil internet out there. So thank you very much for everybody, and thank you for making my life complete by giving me this great toy show, Brian. And the adventure continues. So, uh, Ace was talking about that he missed a couple of shows along the way. Um, probably one of the people I want to recognize, I'll talk about my staff more and employees a little bit later, but Heather, stand up Heather, is the only one that's been to every show that we've done. Besides me. So that's one record, but you know, at the end of the day, there's only two people left standing. Charles, where are you? Come on up. So Charles and I are the only two people that have been to every licensed G.I. Joe show there's been. We've been to all of them. So Charles, I'm going to turn it over to you. Hey, thank you, Brian. I won't be brief, but uh, I remember the very first show that I went to that Brian did. I thought it was interesting, about like five, three and three quarter dealers in the room and everybody else was 12 inch. And you know, as the years went by, you know, about 2008 was kind of 50-50 and then you see how it is today. But one of the things that Brian has done, you know, people probably don't realize for 22 years, Brian has kind of kept the convention package pretty much about the same price and has always given us a great value for what we've got. I don't know too many companies or folks that could do that, but even when Hasbro wasn't producing product, Brian was still pumping stuff out for us guys. So I think next year you're going to notice it's going to be a little bit different, but you know, just kind of keep that in mind. I'm glad that we have these adventures together. I would say everybody keep in touch. I know there will be something new, just like A said, there will be a new chapter. Um, but you know, this is kind of the one opportunity we get to kind of do the big group hug and talk about Joe's, have fun for few days together and let's keep doing that guys. Thanks Brian. Alright, the next person that we were going to call up, but he's already talked a whole lot last night, was Daryl the Priest. And so really, Daryl said, I don't think I have anything else to say, but we want to thank Daryl again for the induction last night. And I think that says it all right there for Daryl. So thank you again, Daryl, for everything you've done. Um, so Todd Pleasant, come on down. You're the next contestant. Okay, I'm going to say everything that everybody's already said, so we'll scratch that. Uh, I've said this over and over again, it's it's the people. It's not the plastic, it's the people. You take the plastic home, you you display it, sometimes you dust it, whatever. But what you're taking home is memories that you're going to have forever and people that are going to be your friends forever. My first night at my first show, I was doing room-to-room -room trading, and I ran into this dude who was doing room-to-room -room trading, and we, we compared lists, we weren't looking for the same things, so we became friends. <laughs> we went room-to-room-to-room, -room -room. at the end of the night, we introduced each other. His name was Daryl the Priest. Okay. <laughs> the next day I went to lunch. Daryl introduced me to, to two of my best friends who I record a podcast with every week and I talk to every day. Available on iTunes. Available on iTunes. And Stitcher. But, but, but this is the thing. That, that was 1999. Okay. And, and uh, we, we saw, like I said, we th saw what we thought was the end of our era. Um, but it kept going, and we met new people, great new people, and, and uh, it's just, this, this never ends, people. As long as there's all of us, as long as we care about this stuff, it never ends. It goes on forever. Plastic, not people. All right, I'm trying to alternate between different scale of collectors, not them, the action figures they collect. James Cavanaugh, would you yeah. like to come on down? Said, oh, did you die there? He turned your mic off. Why is he done? <laughs> that was mean, Todd. That one croaked. <laughs> 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 
more time for Todd. <laughs> they also succinctly said, yeah, Jokon isn't a place. I mean, go find more to Jokon. You can't. It moves. It's all in us. I'll tell you, the first time I ever met Brian, it was uh, the year after I did.